Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So we finally have some action on the global side of the game, some news to talk about, and it comes in the form of the Vegito Blue Legendary campaign, which honestly I'm pretty freaking excited about. I mean, legendary campaigns are always a good thing because we get a lot of free stones, get a lot of free orbs, Kai's, all the stuff that I currently need more of so uh without further ado let's jump into it we're gonna go over all the details of the campaign itself so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once it begins so first things first i guess i should address the question that some people might have and that is whether or not he's worth the grind right i mean i feel like most people probably already know the answer to this question but for the few that don't one million percent yes this dude is amazing. Alright, we're gonna quickly go over his details. So we're on the Dokkan wiki right now. His leader skill is super class allies, or just super class in general, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, plus 70%. Super attack is a 12 key Vegito sword and 18 key god impact. The 12 key actually raises attack and defense and causes colossal damage to the enemy, which can be stacked infinitely, which makes him amazing for the legendary Goku event and the infinite Dragon Ball history event. His 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage. And his passive is attack and defense plus 80%, raises key by up to 10, the less HP remaining, the greater the key boost. His links are Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Prepare for Battle, Power Bestowed by God, Fused Fighter, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Realm of Gods, Patara, Future Saga, and Time Travelers. And one thing that some people might not remember is that this dude was actually a global first unit. He came out on January 18th of 2018 for Global and then two months later in March of 2018 for JP. So 80% might not seem like a very significant boost, but considering he has 19,490 attack and 13,494 defense at rainbow status, which uh, he should be at because he is a free-to-play LR, um, makes that a pretty significant boost trust me guys he does a lot of damage he tanks really really well and he's also self-sufficient for key so overall just an amazing amazing unit i love this guy so much i think he is probably the best free to play lr i mean there are some other good ones like the metal cooler army and all that stuff but this guy is probably the best the most consistent as far as like tanking and damage output goes he's just really really good so definitely make sure you get him done take advantage of this campaign to add him to your collection because he's just that good you know okay so going over to the actual campaign now we're gonna quickly read this little paragraph they have here so it says Dokkan awaken Vegito into an LR complete special missions to get awesome rewards legendary challenge campaign is on challenge quest mode collect awakening medals to Dokkan awaken Vegito into an LR in addition you can obtain awesome mission rewards by raising his super attack to level 20 and fully activating his hidden potential grab the chance to strengthen Vegito and get a hold of his legendary power so pretty standard stuff we're gonna go over the rewards now because obviously that is the most important part of the campaign and as with the previous campaigns if you finish Vegito Blue before the campaign actually starts which is on uh, February 2nd by the way February 2nd so you have about five six days from now to get this guy done and if you get him before the campaign begins then you will get some additional rewards in the form of 10 dragon stones three elder kai's as well as two reversal medals and uh, just like with the last two campaigns you're not getting them as soon as the campaign begins it usually happens i think like two or three days after so don't like freak out if you don't see this in your box immediately all right and then on top of that once the campaign begins everybody can get 20 dragon stones for getting this guy to lr status and then seven elder kai's for getting him to super attack 20 and then also you will get enough orbs to rainbow a uh, str unit if you get him to 100 so essentially getting all the orbs that you used back for rainbowing him 
And on top of that, all difficulties of story mode have been unlocked permanently, which makes sense because the story mode is where we can get the uh, Patara medals required to awaken him to LR status. And we also have this amazing boost of four times rank EXP, but also half the amount required amount of stamina for story mode. Basically, um, you're ranking up faster as you're going through the story mode to collect those Batara medals, but you can also run more stages quicker and get more medals quicker because it's only half the regular amount of stamina, so definitely, definitely take advantage of this. Even if you have the Vegito Blue done, this is amazing for everybody because you can just rank up so fast. If you run the 27-3 uh, stage, like the final stage, over and over again, um, if you guys are you know trying to get to like rank 400, rank 500, this, this is definitely the best time ever, like best time possible to do it because of that um, special bonus right now, right? And we also have 20 additional Patara medals added to the Baba Shop. So once again, these Patara medals are what you need to um, awaken him to LR status. And if you guys are feeling a little bit lazy or maybe you don't have the required units to fulfill some of those fierce battle missions, um, you can actually just buy a good amount of the medals you need from the Baba Shop, all right? And we also have the return of quite a few story events. There's the legendary Super Saiyan Broly, the um, Bojack story event, the Copy Vegeta story event, we got the Dragon Ball Super Broly story event, the Ultimate Android Saga GT story event, the Wrath of the Dragon story event, and also the Bio Broly and Lord Slug story events. Um, I think just like with the last couple of campaigns, it should be the exact same stories um, for Global as uh, JP got, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be these exact events that are coming back for this campaign. And we also will be getting the um, Super Vegito story event, or sorry, the Super Vegito Dokkan event available every single day, which makes sense during the campaign. And last but not least, the STR hidden potential event will be available daily, so that if you guys need those STR orbs to rainbow the Vegito, you can get them here. And uh, even if you already have him done, might as well do it every day to get those extra STR orbs, right? So that is pretty much all the details you need to know about the Vegito Legendary campaign coming to Global in just under a week, six days to be exact, actually. Wait, today's 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, yeah, seven days, which actually happens to be the exact day of my little brother's um, birthday, Phoenix's birthday. So happy early birthday to Phoenix. And that's all there is to say in this video, guys. Just a quick little... Um, preview, I guess, of the LR Vegito Blue Legendary Campaign. Like I said, if you guys don't have him yet, definitely take advantage of the quadruple um, rank EXP, the half stamina for the story mode, and uh, all that good stuff to get him done because it's never going to be easier to finish this guy and also uh, he's just so awesome. Like, <laughs> you want to have him. You want to have him. So, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are hyped for this legendary campaign. And of course, this is not the only thing we're going to be getting on the second, since that should be the beginning of a new celebration on Global. And uh, if the predictions are correct, then it should be the Int uh, Future Gohan, Dokkan event celebration or Dokkan Fest celebration. So look forward to that. Other stuff coming as well. And uh, on the JP side, of course, is the four year, or sorry, five year anniversary. So I'm sure it's going to be significantly more hype on the JP side, but it's all good. It's all good. We'll eventually get on Global 2 in like four or five months. So just be patient, guys. All right. So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out